relaxing to the sound of the music. Establishing that comfortable position. Refocusing on your breathing. Tuning into the sound of the music and the sound of my voice. Perhaps the sound of the music can blend away any other sounds from outside and perhaps to blend in any sounds inside. The sound of the music and the sound of my voice pairing nicely together creating a rhythm that helps you to relax creating a foundation that the only sound that you need to think about is the sound of the words that I speak. And as you listen to my voice, allow yourself to become so comfortably lazy and to unwind as quickly as you like. And you can become aware of all parts of your body, the way your hands are resting, even acknowledge the angle of your elbows, the way your back is being supported. and even the weight of your head. You may even imagine that your head feels a little bit heavier as you allow yourself to relax more. And become curious as to the way your ankles your feet, even your shins and your calves can begin to feel heavy. And just naturally your breathing becomes slower, steadier. almost calculated and you know now that you want to relax more and more so that you can gain more benefit from this experience breathing calmly almost like you're ready for sleep so naturally slowly and gently too heavy to move allowing yourself to relax more bringing your attention to the way your heart beats using your mind to even slow down your breathing, your heartbeat, increasing your invisible comfort. If you can slow down your mind as much as you like right now, 
use your mind's power to adjust your breathing, to adjust your heartbeat. Interesting how you could feel your body drifting deeper, slowing down, becoming more relaxed. As there's nothing really for you to do except enjoy the words that lead you out of my voice. Relaxing now. No demands. No expectations. Allowing your mind to relax. Slowly. Evenly. Smoothly. Quietly becoming aware of your whole self. That's right. Becoming aware of loving yourself. Becoming aware of what you need to allow completion to be with yourself, to not leave. the sound of the music to invest within yourself to deposit love to go deep inside for loving yourself After everything you've been through, means being with yourself, to not leave, loving yourself doesn't mean giving up. Loving yourself doesn't mean giving in. Loving yourself doesn't mean giving yourself away or to keep yourself hidden or separate. Loving yourself is collecting yourself creating yourself. And as you consider all of the difficulties that you've experienced, the stories that you can tell, the awareness that your wise mind offers you the understanding. To love yourself is to accept all of your difficulties and to learn how to adapt, to learn how to coat them with self-love. To use them as molds 
So all the self-love and self-worth, self-acceptance surrounds all of your difficulties all of the discomforts for you create this as your solution as you acknowledge there is no turning back everything that you've experienced has already been experienced From this day forward, you may view all of this as a blessing. For all of your scars tell their stories, create meanings, and you choose how you narrate your life your experiences as you navigate and explore all the teachable moments. These stories fill up all the cells in your body. You have so much emotional energy enough to fit all of your stories in, to be shared with people who cross your path. For the whole world loves to hear stories and in your world, you benefit from telling your stories. And with the love that you bear right now, you feel more comfortable to be with your past traumas, your past experiences, the difficulties. And instead, instead of leaving, you embrace, you coat with love. For now, with all of your self-love, you also accept nothing has been nor will be easy, but you are as you can be viewed is a very different version of you. Never the same. Accepting that all the persons who cross your path will bring with them a natural curiosity about you about why you may be guarded, about maybe why you speak a certain way, about maybe why you hold certain opinions. You will share and you will teach and you will do this with all of your self-love. And this will not hurt you. This will empower you. It will help to reproduce all of your love. Naturally, others will want to understand your pain and they'll be intrigued about the way you can speak of pain with such love. And this will soothe you And you will find 
that you begin to love the pain that you've been through for there is a love waiting to be absorbed engulfed experienced and to love yourself is to understand that everything is different that you no longer need to ask why or when or what if and whilst you don't have to love others as quickly as they love you and while others don't have to love you as quickly as you love them the power of nature lands in your lap and you embrace it with acceptance and self-love to be with the flow and you may not express how you feel the way you used to you may speak with more kindness and compassion with self-love and with pain and all of this is okay as you begin to learn to love yourself. And how you were before is different to how you are now. And how you are now may differ to how you will be later. But you will surely, slowly learn how to be again. And you may be a fast learner. But take your time so that you can practice. And you can practice to protect yourself. Even when the rest of the world doesn't understand. It's not always for you to teach. We journey through our lives missing so many lessons. Perhaps I can suggest that you don't overprotect yourself. For the love of others deserves to be part of your journey. You may now embrace loving yourself is actually committing to yourself, to all of your story, committing to where you've actually been and how it is that you'll move forward. And when you need to take those kind pauses to just to be and to reflect. And you'll learn how to use it to your advantage. Just like you have figured things out, you'll continue to figure things out. you'll make yourself proud you can imagine just hugging yourself reminding yourself where you've come from how well you've done and where you're heading And you'll even make mistakes along the way and love them too. 
So don't forget to be with yourself. For as you search for your own happiness, you'll do it with love, loving yourself. It's not something that just turns up like a new sunrise. It might take a number of seasons. or have the seasons already passed you. Perhaps with the next sunrise, it can shine self-love as you absorb it through all of your skin, inside of your cells, into your blood. As you breathe out any stores of negativity, and allow yourself a journey of happiness. And you'll hear sounds of life, the breeze, the birds, chatter. So take your time, do it creatively, do it with your own interpretations to improve absolutely everything about you as you work through your pain. As you allow different feelings, freedom, to be coated with love. As young children can do no wrong and you love them regardless. And so loving yourself after any trauma happens to be a brand new beginning to allow you to love others, to allow others to love you And the pain begins to end. The strange feelings in the stomach begin to ease. Emotions settle. And a new empowerment begins to take its position in your being, allowing you to love again, for learning to love yourself has a new way of expressing emotions for others, for yourself for your past and for your future. To allow this your pathway of health and holistic living. To have enough of you to share around, to make this world a better place. For that's what it is with you in it, a much better place. So share yourself with the world. Truth is, you're never alone. Sometimes bad things that have happened to people are what make the world a better place for new avenues stretch out and teach kindness and love this world will not be the same 
without what you have actually experienced. For you know you're not alone, but it's learning how to connect, how to be, to inspire, and how to still hope. You are everything that makes each day better. So go ahead and continue to love yourself, except with new meaning now. To love that you are unique, that you have survived, that there is no one like you. To be that better version of you, regardless of all your story. And as you sit with the sound of this music, as it becomes more detailed in rhythm, and you pay attention now to a pathway of love circulating inside of your body. To become grateful for the opportunity to let it in. To allow my voice to set the pace. To teach what you've learned and to learn what's been taught. Fill yourself with self-love right now and continue and continue and continue as the day progresses and a new day begins. Continue to remind yourself self-love comes first. So take some nice cleansing breaths and bring with you the stillness everything that you've learned as you slowly and slowly begin to wake from this experience slowly waking feeling nice and refreshed Feeling calm, feeling ready for more and more self-love. And waking up one and 